Hello everyone! I'm here today with a new process video and as you can see I've got a single 6x8 page here. These are photos from New York and <laughs> this is going to be a fun one because it's about food, specifically Gray's Papaya Hot Dogs. If you've ever seen the older movie Fools Rush In with Matthew Perry and Salma Hayek, this is featured in that movie. Alex, the main character, is from New York, and he raves about how good Grace papaya hot dogs are and misses them when he's not in New York. And I was driving with my friend, and we happened to pass right by it. And I said, wait, 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 <laughs> you have to stop the car, and I need to go and get one. And she's like, oh, that's right, you've never had one when you've been here. Let's do it. So she pulled over. I hopped out and got us some and got back in the car. And you know what? It's not the best thing I've ever eaten. It was good. Um, I don't know why the movie raves about it so, so much, unless you're a native New Yorker and it's just like part of your upbringing or something. It was good. It just wasn't fantastic. So, but now I can say I've had it. So I have to at least scrap the story, right? Because it was a very, very fun and very New York experience. So to start off with, I need a card up here, obviously, and I've picked out three that I might use. I have two that are yellow here and then I have one that's just black and white because I can't decide exactly what I want here. Do I want to bring out more of the yellow and this is kind of a mustardy color here or do I want to keep it black and white here and then I can add yellow to the card. It's it's tough and I can't decide which option I like the best. So I'm going to lay all these out here and just look and see what I think. I do like this one because it leaves a lot of room for journaling and then I can mark off that it was just a snack because I think if I remember right, it was like three o'clock or something, three, four, maybe somewhere in there. So it wasn't dinner time yet, but it was definitely after lunchtime. Um, so I do like that one. I have this one, which is definitely more of a, a lighter yellow than the other one I have. I also like this one because there's lots of room for journaling, but adding anything else to the card would be tough. There's not a lot of other room there. And then I have this one, which is also yellow, but it's darker. It's more of a, a yellowy gold, if you will. And I really like this one because it even says like local culture, sight sounds. Yes, it's more like taste, but I do like the fact that it says local culture. I also like it that it's got a spot up here where I can stamp plus journaling because I think I want to use this stamp set in some way. And I'm thinking maybe this one that says healthy-ish or not so much. Definitely not so much, I'm sure. Or even the one that says nom nom. Could I fit it in here or over here or maybe right in the middle or something? So I want to use this. These are small enough where it definitely would have fit up there. So that's kind of where I'm leaning. But I don't know. I think all three have good things about them. So I thought before I picked the card, maybe I should look at some embellishment options because maybe that would help me decide which card would be better. And I found something really cool that I think I want to use. So I have this set of puffy stickers from Citrus Twist. And check this out. I love this one right here that says a little food adventure because it was. It was very unscripted. We didn't know that it was going to happen. This is yellow. However, totally not the same. It's almost like there's a slight green hint to it even. Now this one isn't perfect either, but it's closer. I could use it here if I wanted to, and it would of course match. I could just like, whoops, stick it in the middle of the card or something. But looking at it, what I think I'm actually going to do is I think I'm going to take this and put it in the middle here, right over that hot dog. And then do this so that I have yellow in opposite corners. There obviously is some here, but it's pretty, it's pretty light. Whereas these will be a little more pronounced. And I think I like that. And then I still have room to stamp. I could stamp a little phrase, you know, under here or something. So I feel like I still have good options. I added on the sticker and eek, I love it. <laughs> I just love the way that looks. It's so fun and it looks spontaneous and this was spontaneous and so I'm just really in love with the way that looks and now I'm super excited about this choice. I think that's the right way to go because when I stamp in black then it will all even out and I think it'll look great. 
I have done the stamping and I love it. Look how that looks. If the camera would focus, that'd be helpful. There we go. So I will mark the one that says not so much and then I'll have plenty of room for my journaling, which is awesome. So now I have something in both corners here. I have to figure out, do I wanna put something like maybe right here? I've got a lot of dead, dead space here. I kind of like this one the way it is because this the sign is so busy on the side of the building here. I don't think I wanna mess with that. So if I do anything, it'd be like up here in the top or maybe off the side, but I don't know what, I, what else I have that would fit with that or look good. So I'm gonna go through my food stuff I have lots of ephemera type things for that chipboard and puffy stickers and all that. And I also have some phrases. So we'll see if I find anything that I like for this. When I was looking through all my stuff, I was really having a hard time finding something that would work with this, but I think I have found something. I like this. It says, heck yes. Now it is done so that it looks like it's supposed to be you know kind of to a bottom edge but I like it for up here and I love the fact that it's yellow it is more of that gold yellow but I like it that it has red writing on it because there's red in here and there's red here from ketchup mixed in there and stuff so I think it's a good choice I just have to figure out do I want it to overlap the photo, I could put some stuff on the back to make it non-sticky if it sticks up a little bit, or I could place it right here and like put a staple in to make it look like a tab kind of a thing. I'm, I'm not quite sure how to do it, but I do think I want to use it. What I decided to do with this was just place it down pretty far onto the photo. So it will stick up a little bit out of the pocket, but not a lot. That's all that's showing. So I'm actually not even going to treat the back of this with anything. To make it non-sticky, I'm just going to leave it. If it ends up sticking to the back of the page protector, that's okay, really. It's not going to damage anything. So I think that's all I need to do. So I'm gonna put everything in the pockets and then decide, do I need anything else or is this really done? When I was off camera, I decided to also do my journaling since it wouldn't take that much. I filled the space, I mentioned the movie, so it's all good. And here's another one done for New York. Thanks for watching.